Hey, Tony here. I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video today. I have had quite a bit of people asking me about the bags that I use to put my steelbooks in and my slip covers. And so I thought I would just do a whole video just kind of talking about why it is that I do that because a lot of people wonder why I would waste the time to um, open up an item and then just put it right back into a bag. But there's a good legitimate reason of why I do these things. Um, so first up, what I thought I would do is just show you the bags that I use. So I do buy them in big, large packages like this. So they do come in a bag. I order these off of Amazon. They are the size that would fit a DVD sized um, case. So it has got a little bit of an extra room in it that you can actually fit a, um, fit a Blu-ray or a Steelbook in without any issues. Um, and so at the end of all my videos, wherever I do an unboxing of a Steelbook, you know, I always say the same thing at the end of each video because so many people ask me about the bags. So I do have a link um, in all of my video descriptions um, to where I link to the bags that I purchased so that if anybody's interested in purchasing those, they would actually have good access to um, Amazon to where they can actually purchase the right size for a Blu-ray case, for slip covers, and for still books. Um, the bags are actually this size right here. And so I wanted to demonstrate um, what it is that this is. So if you get a still book, so like I got this nice Star Wars um, the Empire Strikes Back still book. It's a glossy still book so in mint condition. Um, and so if I was just to put this on the shelf, and if I was to just slide it in and out, in and out, up against all the other still books, eventually this finish on here would get rubbed down. It would probably get scratches. Um, it, these bags do not help, pre um, help prevent from getting dings or, or dents in the still book, um, but it's mostly just to keep, them, um, to keep them on the shelf without getting scratched up. So I would just take the bag and just slide the still book inside of it, just like that. And then, as you can see, there's a lot of length. Then I'll just fold it over and just put a piece of tape on it. So usually I just use some masking tape and just and tape it um, shut. And that way it will just fit right on the shelf. And then when it's pulled in and out of the shelf, it doesn't get scratched up. Now there's also a seal on the back of this that you can just kind of peel off. And then you can just fold this over and just stick the bag to it. I just use the tape because I do open these up quite often. Um, but it does have this resealable seal on the back that you can also um, use. Now another thing that I do other than just the still books, now if you have a glossy still book, of course it's going to get scratched up, it's going to get fingerprints, so the bags do help with that. Um, if you have a matte finished still book, those things get scratched up real easily. So this will help um, prevent those from getting scratched up. Now something else that I do that a lot of people probably don't do is if I have a nice slip cover, so for example, I've got this 4K slip cover for the Magnificent 7. Um, this slip right here is very hard to, to find. I do have this as an example. This isn't a good example, but as you can see, this slip is really bad. It's one that I purchased off of um, eBay. It came in like a piece of garbage. Um, but I want to just use this as the example. I actually do have a mint slip on my Magnificent 7. But for this example, um, all of the 4K releases, any 4K release that I get that has a slip cover, actually goes into a bag also um, because I don't want the slip cover to get damaged. As you can see, they do damage very easily. Um, the material that they used for the Magnificent 7 is a real flimsy cardboard, so it gets all kinds of bends and creases in it. Um, so if you have it in a bag, whenever you're sliding it in and out of the shelf, it does help prevent the um, slip cover itself from getting damaged. Also, if you've ever noticed, on the tops and the bottoms of the um, slip covers, they do get wore down from the shelf. You know, if you store them on the shelf, which most people do, um, then the tops and the bottoms do get rubbed down and start becoming um, creased and worn down. So this right here will help prevent that also. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to take time just to show you what I do with these. Um, so I actually put all my 4K um, slip covers in these. Um, I, all of my Screen Factory, Shout Factory releases, once I remove them from their plastic, they actually go into a bag. Um, all my A24 slips, any kind of slip cover. Now there was a time where I wasn't putting all of my slips in these, 
but recently I have um, purchased a lot of these bags. So every single new release that I get, once I do my end of the month um, video showing all my pickups for the month, then they go into the bag and then they go into a shelf if I have any shelf space. But anyway, I wanted to take time just to tell you a little bit about the bags that I use. Um, like I said, there is an affiliate link down below where I purchased these bags off of Amazon. I pay probably under $15 if I'm not mistaken. I think it's about $15 for a big old bag. Um, I just got this one in today and it's a bag of 10,000. So a bag of 10,000 of these sleeves. Um, I believe it says 10,000. Yeah, 10,000 count. Um, for right about $15 if I'm not mistaken. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Um, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you actually put any of your still books into these sleeves or if you put your slip covers in the sleeves because um, I would really like to know what you use. You know, do you use these bags? I, do, I have received some Malco, I think it's called Malco protectors for some of my still books, but they're, they're really expensive. And so um, I quit using those and just stick with the bags since they're so cheap. But leave me a comment below. Let me know if you use any of these and what you think about them. Um, I really do enjoy reading your comments. I really appreciate you taking the time to leave a comment, and I do try to take the time to answer all of your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would, really, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and I've actually started doing videos on TikTok. Nothing really special, just trying to get my um, face out there so that people will know who I am. So if you want to check out my TikTok videos, I got all those links down below. If you want to see what I've been watching, I have been watching one movie, at least a minimum of one movie a day. Um, since January 1st. So if you want to see what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I have that link down below also. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.